Hey guys, it's Ryan with Mom on Mission. If you are new here, I am a Christ-following, book-loving wife and homeschool mom to three boys. So if you love all things um, gospel, biblical womanhood, uh, homeschool, books, um, anything like that, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Um, so today I was going to briefly talk to you about our fourth grade curriculum choices. I know I have recently done um, where I went through subject by subject and kind of gave you a game plan of what we plan on using this year, um, but I figured I would give you um, kind of a breakdown of what we will be using for each grade. So I'll do another video probably next week for the choices that we will use for my second grader this upcoming 2020-2021 school year. Um, and so if you are just looking, wanting to see a real quick glimpse of what a fourth grade curriculum might look like for someone, this is it. So for independent subjects, so subjects that he will not do with his second grade brother, my fourth grader will be doing writing. Um, we're gonna just go through all the language arts. I have several pieces of language arts curriculum and it sounds like a crazy amount. Um, and it's a lot, but um, I just don't, any of the programs that I've seen that kind of lump all of the language arts together, I just wasn't a huge fan of. Um, not for any big reason, um, it's just not what I wanted. So I just kind of have all of our language arts broken up so it looks like a lot more than what it probably is. So for writing, we'll be using Writing with Ease level four, and this is the fourth year we've used that, use this program, he's used all four levels. Um, and this is by Susan Weisbauer, um, part of the Complete Writer Program. Um, she is a um, classical method um, author, and um, so she kind of follows that through this curriculum. Um, there's a lot of narration, dictation, copy work, um, and forming and then later forming your own thoughts based on um, what you've read and what you've gathered. So they kind of break down writing, which I really like that approach. And then for grammar, I don't have it because I tried to find it used and I haven't found it yet. So um, if I don't find it soon, I will be ordering it new. But we will be using first language lessons for the well-trained mind, level four also. And I'll insert a picture here. We have used all four, or all the three previous um, levels and have loved it. It is very short, sweet, to the point. Um, sometimes the um, exercises can get a little bit long, um, but we just kind of modify it as we need to. Other than that, we love this program. And then for spelling, I also don't have this one yet. I will be ordering it soon, but I'll insert a picture. We are using Spelling Workout D. We have used um, Spelling Workout, I think this will be our third year for Spelling Workout. And um, it's kind of a worksheet based curriculum, which I know is not everyone's cup of tea. Um, but for spelling, we really like that. Um, we've tried other methods for spelling previously and this just seems to work the best for us. So if you're looking for a worksheet-based spelling curriculum, this is a really good one. And then for vocabulary, I have the test booklet and the um, answer key, but I don't have the actual workbook or anything yet. But we use Wordly Wise, um, and we'll be using book four this year. Um, he has used two and three. This will be his third year. Um, and we love it. I'll insert a picture of what the actual book looks like. Um, but I know not everyone thinks that vocabulary is necessary if you, you know, read good books and whatever. Um, but it's just something we like to do. And I actually thought about giving it up this year because we'll be doing a lot more reading this year than we have in previous years. Um, but my kids are both very sad about giving up vocabulary. So I'm like, hey, if it's something they really want to do and it's obviously good for them, why not just let them do it another year? So we're gonna give it another go. And then for handwriting, we will not be using a curriculum this year. We will only be using um, our memory verses for copy work. And then same thing for reading, we will just be using um, the Sunlight um, Recommended Readers for fourth grade. Um, and that will just be his independent reading. I'll ask him questions on that, but we don't have any specific curriculum that we're gonna follow to the T for reading. 
And for math, I also don't have this available. I went to go buy it used and it was actually um, not as good of a deal as I thought it was. So I might buy it new or look on Facebook Marketplace. Um, but we will be using Saxon 5.4. And again, I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but we love Saxon. I've said it a million times. It is hard, it is long, it is rigorous, um, but it gets the job done and it gets it done well. Um, and we just modify, modify, modify as we need to. Um, we don't do every single math problem, every single practice problem. Um, I am curious to see when I get my hands on the book, um, how much it's going to change. I know first, or kindergarten through third grade um, of Saxon works a lot differently than their, um, I think what they call the middle grades, like Saxon 5-4, uh, 6-5, 7-6, all of that. Um, but I think I've heard it's pretty much the same um, content-wise, like how they teach and everything. It's just how it's structured is a little different. Um, but again, we'll just modify where we need to. So. That is it on his independent subjects. Every other subject he will be doing together with his second grade brother. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on these, but I will just let you know. Um, together they will do Bible, history, and literature all together because we are doing um, Sunlight Core B. If you're not familiar with Sunlight, it is a literature-based program. And this is our first year using it. Um, I was getting very frustrated the past couple years and not getting enough reading time in. We all love reading. Um, I do and both boys do and we were just cramming in read alouds here and there but it was never enough and so I thought why not just make that our curriculum so we are kind of switching things up this year with that um, and then they will also do science together and we are doing exploring creation through astronomy this year by Apologia we have done um, Apologia human anatomy Apologia um, physics and chemistry, and apology of sea creatures. And then this will be our fourth year using this. Um, let's see, and then I'm not gonna touch anything on Latin, memory work, Bible, nature, music, art, and geography, because those will all be included in our morning basket this year um, in a kind of rotation. And I'm not going to talk in depth about them because one, I have a video about our extracurriculars that you can see in this I card here. And um, that doesn't touch all of those, but it touches some of them. But also I will be doing a video here um, in August about what's in our morning basket. And I will go in depth um, on these different, on the different things that we're using to um, teach all of those things. So be on the lookout for that. So this is what we are using for my fourth grader for the 2020-2021 school year. Um, if you have any questions or would like to see any of this more in depth, I would be more than happy to show you um, and answer any questions that I can. And I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you next time.